What's going on guys? This is Chopper here bringing you a little Forsaken Island guide from my priest point of view. Oh, oops. Let me jump in. I've so, been walking around. Let's go ahead and get this started. Is Fade here? Yeah, uh, she's inside. Yeah, she's inside. I'm here. Just waiting on Reaver. Okay, right, I'm Reaver, sorry. Come on in. Let's do this thing. I wasn't sure if uh, it said you logged out for there's, a second. There's people watching, okay? Jeez. I crashed. Hashtag terror. That happens to me all the time. I'm in high watch. When everybody's stunting in high watch in channel one. If you try to interact with the broker or the bank sometimes, I just crash. So sad. It's gonna take so long. Alright, so for this Crash first part... Crash is going back to Cutthroat. First part here is just adds. Say run I past the it. first groups until you get up into this section. Once you're in this section, group them up, clear them up, move on. Easy. Easy mode. For the first boss, the main mechanic to look out for is his rest in peace mechanic. That's coming up shortly. His initial shots here, cleaves, nothing too interesting. Unless your uh, your gunners are trolling you and just standing in the way of the all the all the cleaves. Ah, uh, no. The walls. <laughs> so again, nothing here. That's too special. Just keep up your abilities. That was the taunt. So there again, that's the rip. It's either going to be an inside or outside donut, and then he'll go reverse on the second one. So the first one was outside, second one's inside. If you get hit, this is what happens. A little gravestone pops up next to you, and you get a pretty decent stun. Uh, stun lasts for, uh, I don't know, probably about 10 seconds. Um, and you want to just, you know, see if you can get down the tombstone of whoever got hit. I think that does help reduce the stun. And of course, uh, Try to keep them up if, if they're in trouble while they get hit. Now, the other guy you see there, the big fat ghost guy, um, he pops up every so often, pretty much always after one of those rip phases. Uh, what you want to do with that guy is the tombstone that he spawns from. All you have to do is just nuke that down, and uh, he dies. Tombstone doesn't have too much HP. Should take one DPS or a couple, couple abilities to take it down. Um, you want to really make sure you take care of that guy, because if not... He does a lot of damage, a sneaky amount of damage, and especially if you get hit with a rip or something like that and you're stunned, he can really put in some work on you, especially for you, for the healers. So, as a DPSer, if you see him come up, just nuke down that tombstone and so we can all move on with our lives. That, other than that, just rinse and repeat. The only other mechanic we haven't really talked about, there is that jump stun. That one's pretty obvious. He, he moves back and then jumps. And then always after the jump stun is going to be that spin to win ability. Yes. And then finally, that's the taunt. So he just throws sort of a <laughs> cone in front of him for the taunt. And uh, you can cleanse that as a priest. So I recommend you do so. And you can also cleanse the jump stun. You can't cleanse the oh, rip man. stun. Man. That's sad. That's pretty sad. You let me die. Yeah, I don't think that's the thing that's going on here. <laughs> I've already been commenting from the beginning of the video how you were face tanking most of the cleaves. It's okay, Fade. I believe you. Chopper's out to get you. Why did you do this? Oh, I did that for the lulls. So again, we're rinsing, we're repeating, and we're continuing. This really isn't too special. It's pretty funny that somebody died. That normally doesn't happen. Show you there, you can't cleanse off the the stun from, from Rest in Peace. There is a ghost man up. Fat man up. Can somebody get fat man? He's going to chase me around, and I can just keep kiting him, really, until somebody takes him out. I've been pretty full so of far. energy stars. You want to have those up all the time. The jump stun, you can cleanse the jump oh. stun if I don't get taunted. This is kind of bad, actually. A lot of people in trouble here. Let's throw a shield up, get ourselves up, make sure we can heal some people. <laughs> wow. Uh, big red circles on the ground. Should get out of them. <laughs> How do you not die twice? How do you die twice in one run and don't die for two complete runs, Fade? It's impressive. 
It's called getting hit on purpose. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, it's okay. for you. It's it's for your guide, obviously. It's for my guide. Okay. We, you wanted to show That's the healer good. point of view. You need yeah. to work it. Wow. You and when your sure. teammates die terribly while sitting in <laughs> in big red circles, do this. No, yeah, I've I've commented on that, so we're we're good. If your team wants to troll you, that's okay. You can still live. Plus, you need to get hit by 20 rips anyway for achievements, so obviously you're just achievement hunting, so. Obviously. Alright, again, we're just rinsing, we're repeating. Rinsing, repeating. You can cleanse the taunt, uh, like that. So, that's a thing to do sometimes. If you feel like somebody might be in trouble. Or just to be thorough. But again, this guy's not too special. All of Forsaken Island's not too hard. Uh, I believe the, in order to queue for it, an instance matchmaking, it's a 397. Um, Fuck. what you need for item level. <laughs> Another fat man up. Alright, we're going to want to get this fat guy down. You know that fat guy's a real dickhead. Yeah, the Oops. fat guy does a lot of damage. Uh oh. Don't hit me. Uh, all right. <laughs> and then you dodge out of my heal after I pull you in for a heal. Nice. I needed a reposition. Someone just moved me. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, was that your gunshot that just did that giant wave of death? I like that. I don't know. Was that the... What's that third um, ability? The full... Baldur's uh, Vengeance? Yeah, it was probably that. Yeah. yeah, at this point, you know, I mean, what am I gonna do? If you wanna keep dying to the spin to win, that's all. That thing hurts. What a jerk. I actually didn't mean to die that time. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, shh, shh, it's okay. We, I got we, a shield we... for you, I got you. Alright. Okay, so... If people are playing how they should play, it's not too hard. <laughs> but again, main things to worry about. Don't get hit by the rip. The stun is long. Easy. Take care of the fat man. Nobody died. Zero Another deaths. That, Perfect run. It's pretty easy. <laughs> Again, my guildmates are just trolling me, so hopefully your experience won't be the same. But even even so, you can persevere. This dungeon's not too hard. It's in the daily rotation, so it's important to be able to just do it cleanly so it's not frustrating. Do it on multiple tunes, all those good things. So again, another set of trash before the next boss. Nothing special. Pull them together, nuke them, uh, move on with your life. Um, for this next boss, the main mechanic you want to worry about is his laser that he brings down. That's the main one. There's several others I'll point out as the fight goes on. The main one is his big laser. Well, you see him raise his axe really far back over his head, and then he swings it down. As soon as it comes down, the indicator will pop up under your feet. Followed by a nasty lightning bolt that silences. You want to just iframe out of that. Move out of the laser bolt. You don't even need to iframe if you do it as soon as the bolt comes down. Um, and that'll make your life and your healer's life a whole lot easier. There's also that ability for the tank or for anybody else that's good to watch out for. He'll slam it down where the indicator is. And then a secondary explosion outward which will basically push you to the complete far edges of this room. Uh, and then you have issue maybe running into the ghosts. Um, which will also silence you, and it pushes you away from the boss, slowing down your DPS and the like. Um, so here comes the big, so there we go, axe down, indicator comes, lightning short after, you just want to move out of that. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Um, there's some intermittent fire there where the ghosts all turn in and shoot some lasers. They really don't do that much damage, it's pretty easy to heal through. This one, he'll jump up, he does an AoE. Um, as a priest, I like to try to just throw out a little Kaya's shield there. 
absorb that damage pretty much. As you can see there, I'm I'm silenced. What? And oh, I wasn't no. stunned, but I was silenced. There's the push out. So we're, we're kind of running into some mechanics that we shouldn't be. Gotta gotta watch it a little carefully, a little more carefully. So things are still okay. People are still alive. Um, nobody's trolled too hard until the point of their death yet. So here it comes again. Axe up, axe down, bolts. So I had somebody else's bolt next to me, unfortunately, which resulted in my death. So sometimes that'll happen. You got to be on the lookout for that, where people are positioning, because everybody's going to get a bolt on their own, and everybody's is going to be the same size. So if you got somebody right next to you, you got to make sure you're also dodging their bolt, which I obviously wasn't doing. Other than that, he's got a, a couple frontal cleaves that he's throwing on the tank. Really nothing too special. Um, and then there's that one. He'll occasionally just target somebody for a lightning bolt. Nothing special. Here comes the axe down and then out. That's definitely the main uh, mechanic. I always jump out of that and then jump back in it when he's doing his, like, <laughs> push out. So there's the small AoE explosion. I'll just shield up after that. Shield will heal. Here comes lightning down. Juke out. Again, rinse, repeat. More cleave mechanics. He kind of constantly does that. He can be a little bit trolly if you're a melee DPS, for sure. Sort of swings around. Doesn't like to show his back a lot to, uh, to the DPSers. So he's a little bit frustrating to fight. But all in all, really nothing special. Especially when you're trying to heal somebody and they just keep dodging you. Okay, we're good. Uh, nothing... Nothing else to to really touch on on this boss. Again, just really focus on when the axe comes down and getting out of that. You'll save yourself your, and your healer a lot of heartache. Um, and here it comes. Just slow up and down. Boom. Lightning. You see a couple people got hit there. Somebody almost died. Almost died. A little big heal on that guy. <coughs> so this is uh, a lot more healing than you would normally have to do, I do believe. I think uh, it seems like my guildmates are really trying to make me work for this video, so... <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy the fun. This feels more like healing an SS than it does an FI. We just did two runs before this, smooth as butter. Then you tell people you're going to record and who knows what's going to happen. It makes it a lot more interesting. It's a science project for you guys out there. All right, then he's down. Really nothing special. Again, another set of trash. Hmm. We'll I didn't know up. I could hit for over three million. Nothing special. Group, nuke, move on with your life. I thought the game was lagging there while you were blocking. They just all paused and didn't want to attack you for a second. That was strange. Yeah, they just <laughs> like stood there. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> okay, and once you move past those... And then, of course, as soon as I let go of my block the to attack them again, they You can all tell me. where the bridge is going to fall, sort of where it changes colors there. And so you just want to jump right before it changes colors. Jump once, jump twice. Oh no! If you fall, I'm it's bad. not a big deal. You just have to swim like Riva here, and then you can go and you can laugh at him. You can just walk over here and just spam laugh. <laughs> so that, that, that's that's actually the thing to do when people fall down. I'm glad you you demonstrated that for the video. That was very nice of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I totally meant to do that on purpose. <laughs> And then I was able to tell people how you're supposed to spam laugh if somebody falls in the water. Yeah, yeah, no, no, obviously, <laughs> for science. Okay, final boss. Now this guy's, again, straightforward. He can't turn around or he can't move, so your entire party should just come back here for back DPS, unless you've got a, a brawler or somebody who really has frontal crits or crystals like that. It really doesn't matter where you stand, so, um, but... Ideally, you just want your whole party standing back here in the back. It makes it easier on your healer. Everybody's sort of grouped up. Um, so periodically throughout the fight, you'll see these purple lines on the ground. These are just some carpets that he lays down periodically around the place. Uh, they just do slow tick dot damage. Nothing too crazy. Um, but obviously, you just don't want to be standing on them. That's, that's going to hurt. Um, other than that, you saw ghosts just come across right there. 
Uh, whenever those ghosts hit you, they will stun you in place. It can be cleansed, uh, which is good, but the stun itself is dangerous for, for moments just like this. So when he says it's so cold, he goes up in the air and he lays down the checkerboard pattern. Now, during the checkerboard pattern, as you saw right there, he sends out ghosts and they'll try to stun you and they go through every single open slot so you got to pull some sort of juke or something to get out of their way or walk onto the uh um carpet for just a little bit to get out of their way uh other than that there's nothing really special through that phase it's just stay out of the the carpet and avoid the ghosts and it all costs well just don't get oh, wow. there oh so here's a good thing to note if your dps is not high enough oh, those pillars too, like you too. just saw will come down and they all explode. You can try to DPS down the pillars and not as many explode to take less damage, but ideally you just want to be doing enough damage to where that mechanic just never is a thing. Uh, this mechanic, he just sort of goes from one side to the next, laying down a full thing of carpet. As you saw there, um, it goes outside in, so it sort of gives you a very clear indicator of where you can be standing for safety. Follow it. And just move to the other side once the first uh, first set is done. So so cold is approaching again. We're gonna wait for a second, find our our honey hole right here. Making sure to just keep my stuff up. You want to throw down Oops. your E stars and good old nemesis as much as possible. Looks like somebody got stunned by the ghost. Let's give them a heal. So again, we're just rinsing, repeating. The so cold is really the main mechanic here you want to be concerned with. Um, the purple indicator on me, and as probably you've seen throughout this fight, that's just going to indicate that he's going to shoot those balls at you. Um, for those, they're blockable for tanks, oh, uh, and <laughs> they, they really they don't do too much damage. So um, it's best to just move out of the way because they're only going to shoot at you in the location you were about a second or so after you got targeted with it. Um, so just literally walk to the side, move out of the way. You can juke them if you feel so inclined. No. There's, there's lots of easy ways to uh, to avoid those balls. And, uh, and that's it. Not too much to it. So hopefully this guide was helpful. If you have any questions, put them Fine. in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.